Hi guys. Have you guys ever had um cocoa bombs with cherries in them? <laughs> I was really adventurous with this video. Okay, so welcome to my channel, guys. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make cocoa bombs three different ways, like three different styles. And we're going to be starting with this Nesquik cocoa bomb. Okay, so how many times have I said okay, so <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to clean your molds with some vodka or you can clean it with some vinegar. What it does is like when you finish making your um, cocoa bombs, the shells are, become very shiny. Like they, they're not dull because of grease or because of like old, dirty, whatever. Okay, so I was thinking of like cutting my mold because I've seen a lot of people cut them in on TikTok, on YouTube, but like I didn't have the nerve to, so I just had to leave because I just bought it. Okay, so for this one, we're going to be needing 120 grams of um, um, milk chocolate and you can also use dark chocolate if you want but it's either you use dark chocolate or milk chocolate I didn't really like white chocolate when I used it. it had too much oil on top so if you use milk chocolate or dark chocolate and you want to melt that in the microwave and when you do that make sure your bowl is not wet at all make sure you wipe down your bowl with some paper towel because ch chocolate and water do not go at all like I had a little water in this bowl so it made it cuddle a little bit and made it look really messy it wasn't as running as i would have wanted it to be it shouldn't be this thick so if you're going to do this it is best you make sure like your bowl is completely dry and there is no water in it before you put it in the microwave okay so what you want to do is coat every part of your mold with the chocolate and it's easier to use a spoon i see a lot of people using brushes but i tried using the brush the first time i made this but it wasn't as effective because there were streaks and like i had to go into the mold like three four times it was more time consuming so if you're going to do this make sure you use a spoon maybe a tablespoon a teaspoon a teaspoon sorry a tablespoon would be too big and then you want to coat from beginning from the bottom to the top and you want it to get to the edges so it doesn't become too like too thin and too flaky at the edges and you want to coat every single part of them these six molds that we have are going to make us three cocoa bombs which is like the top and the bottom and stuff so now we're going to put this in the microwave and the awesome thing with using dark chocolate and and milk chocolate is the fact that you don't have to go over it more than once except you want it to be really thick of course because but make sure you remember that if you're like going like two or three coats there's going to be more sugar in your cocoa bombs and for this one i didn't want there to be too much sugar so i wanted to go over it just like once and stuff so now we're going to put this in the freezer and then when it comes out now it is out <laughs> and then when it comes out it's going to be shiny see what i'm talking about like the bottom will be shiny the shells will be shiny and nice it won't be dull so make sure when you wash your even though you've washed it you also want to clean it again with some vinegar or with some vodka you get and paper towel okay now so we're going to pop this out and then we are going to make our nesquik cocoa bombs so for that we're going to be needing of course nest cake and then we're going to be needing like half a tablespoon for each one and then we're going to be filling three shells because the mini three shells will be the cover like the top of the you know whatever and then to this we're going to be adding some marshmallows yeah if you like um a creamier tea you should add maybe some cream to this maybe like powder cream of course powder creamer and then like I'm adding some Nesquik chocolate to this as well because I wanted to dick it into stuff. Okay, so we're going to take our bowl, um, our hot pan, and then we're going to put the shell, half of the shell on top and cover it. So the melted part of that chocolate will make the top stick to the bottom. I haven't really mastered the art of making this thing because I don't like the fact that the circles are not like completely circle it kind of looks a little bit flat so i'm going to do more of this so i can like get used to making it and so it can be perfect and stuff i like my stuff to be perfect it makes me feel perfect okay <laughs> so we're going to drizzle some chocolate on top of that and then we are going to top it with some nesquik or some nesquik chocolate as well and for this one i decided to do a crust it was so easy to make and it was a lot more fun than i thought it would be or we're going to like spread some um nest cake on top of it and that's all she wrote and it was so delicious i gave some of this to my loved ones like i packaged it i'm going to put the picture right here of how i packaged it i cannot package it like cupcakes in like uh, a box of four and i gave it to my friends and my loved ones and they really loved it okay so guys 
so next the next thing we're going to be making are oreo cocoa bombs <laughs> and for this one we're going to be using white chocolate okay okay so for this one i made sure my bowl was completely dry and if you can see how runny and how nice and smooth the chocolate is no part of it is cuddled or anything and it was really nice but the downside to this is that you have to like coat the mold like two times so it can be like thick enough for it not to break when you do that yeah can you see it is more watery than the chocolate one when we had it so let me pause this and i'm watching okay so what i did was i went over it twice and if you notice i didn't clean my mold with vinegar even though i already washed it so you can see some of the um gold dust from the previous something i made so for this one we're going to be needing some oreos <laughs> and then we're going to be opening up the oreos shut up you I already passed you okay we're going to be opening up the oreos yeah and then we're going to be scraping out the creamy inside and then we're going to be putting two of it and one cocoa bomb yeah it was so oreo ish okay <laughs> okay so you're going to like put two yeah you're going to need about two of that for one cocoa bomb so you can really get the oreo taste and stuff and then we're going to be filling all three of them yeah the same way and then we're going to be putting like one of the oreos inside and if you want you can put two or three of the shells that way when you're taking your cocoa bomb you should make sure the first thing you do once it dissolves in the hot milk is that you take a spoon and take out the oreo and put in your mouth it's going to be like oreo and one milk yeah otherwise the oreo is going to melt and be you know i don't like it to be gooey and messy on top but if you'd like that that's fine you know different strokes for different folks but for me the first thing i do is to take a spoon once it melts first thing i do is to take a spoon and scoop out the oreo and put it in my mouth okay <laughs> okay so the next thing we want to do is put some um cocoa powder inside our um shells and then put some marshmallows as well i made this in a bigger size than i made the next cake one because you know i don't know anyways so now we want to cover the shell like we did the first one you want to make sure you like melt the rim of the uh of the empty shell and then use it to cover the shell with stuff in it and then the melted chocolate is going to make it stick together yeah i still do not like the shape of this but you know i think i'll get better at making them the more i make them because i intend to make a whole lot more because i bought about four or five of this um silicone molds yeah and if you want to buy the silicone molds i'm going to put the link in the description box below you can order them on amazon and they are really cheap and you can order them in a set and they are really cheap on there actually so i, I prefer to buy most of my stuff from there even though they don't ship directly to ukraine i have like a way i do them so you know because i have my ways anyway so if you want to buy some of those they're going to be in the description box below so the first thing i do is remember there is an oreo inside and there is another one on top so when i put the hot milk the first thing i do is to scoop out both oreos and put in my mouth and it's always so nice and so yummy okay so now after sprinkling with some um white chocolate we're going to sprinkle some of those crushed oreos on top to finish them off and it was so nice although i don't see the difference between these regular oreos and these lady guys I got all yours but you know sales tactics anyways thank you guys so the next one we're going to be doing right now so next one right now are the m, &M oreos m, &M cocoa bomb sorry <laughs> and i think these are my favorite because it has like a surprise inside yeah and i don't know how i thought about this i just i don't know we're just crazy in the kitchen and i thought about it so i already made some shells i don't want to like show you guys how to make shells i already showed you how to make shells with milk chocolate as well as with white chocolate so i already made some shells and i'm filling them with cocoa powder and some marshmallows and some m ms of course and i'm going to put in some cherries yay 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 <laughs> okay so i said to put yellow cherries in some and green cherries in some i didn't have any red cherries at home it's have been really awesome yeah and usually when i get my boyfriend this he was wondering what was inside like it was only like he found the first cherry and was looking for other cherries it's just one don't be too you know <laughs> anyways so you want to put some cherries or you can try to put two if you want because of course there is enough space so now we're going to cover our 
our cocoa bombs remember what we added into this was some cocoa powder some marshmallows some m ms and then some cherries and then we cover them up and then we are going to put some white chocolate drizzle on top of it to make it look really pretty and i said to use different colors of white chocolate drizzle this time so i'm using green red and yellow so you can like depict the color of the m ms <laughs> i was really creative i feel so cool <laughs> okay so then we're going to top it with some M&M's and that's all she wrote like really 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 nice so if you guys ever try this let me know which one is your favorite and which one you like the most or which one your loved ones like the most so thank you guys so much and i loved making these videos for you guys and i'm sorry i haven't been making a videos for about seven days now it's because of valentine my life in february is divided into pre-valentine and post-valentine thank you guys and i'll see you in my next tutorial